Galactus in the Ultimate Universe. Okay, so, Ultimate Universe, um, Galactus, that was interesting, yeah, um, it wasn't even called Galactus, they called him Galactus, and it was not Galen at all, it was a swarm of robots, uh, created by the Kree as a weapon, um, to eliminate all its enemies. The drones basically travelled around the universe in a wave, absorbing energy from living beings or technology, uh, or even whole planets if they like, so similar to Galactus in that sense, um, but yeah, not really what you're thinking of, kind of, in my opinion, resembled those robots in the Matrix saga, um, so yeah, um, obviously, seen as a universal threat, but, sick, oh, well, ultimate universe, they kind of tried to downplay the power scales of things, so yeah, I guess this was one way to do it. However, this is not really an exciting thing, so how do you get the original Galactus or the being of Galen into the Ultimate Universe? Um, well, you need to get uh, an event happening where time travel or crossing through multiverse is possible, and guess what? We got it. Uh, the story basically, well, we'll jump into it with uh, Galactus. Tuss is uh, feeding on a Kree army who have been in a huge battle um, and then all of a sudden Mr. 616 uh, is <laughs> appears through a gateway um, right in front of the swarm of robots and they look at each other and they're not impressed with each other so they have a battle um, uh, in doing so they start absorbing each other and end up merging so Galactus and Galactus are now one being in total and he looked cool in this yeah he changed color slightly he looked a bit more bulky but Galactus for all sense was now in the ultimate universe and he was ready to feed on all the planets in this universe um this is a good option I mean he still had the swarm with him uh, he could control the swarm and set them on things but suddenly Galactus in the ultimate universe was a threat and of course, as he's off consuming things, eating worlds, um, he ends up going to Earth itself. Um, he easily defeats the Silver Surfer and Nova, as well as absorbing the powers of the of a supernova that he caused, um, or, or the Kree caused, sorry, to try and defeat him. Uh, Marvel of this timeline leads a team with Nova and the Silver Surfer again, uh, in hopes that his secret weapon will defeat the power of Galactus. Um, basically a nuclear warhead it doesn't do anything uh to this version of galactus um yeah so basically it was on to earth um first um he arrives he destroys new jersey because you gotta destroy new jersey uh the ultimates aka the avengers of this timeline are called on but they can't do anything um uh it's the first cosmic entity they've really seen they're like what is this power um, Miles Morales tries to talk of it, but they stop him. Uh, Galactus is uh, just too strong. They also realize most of their warheads or weapons just make him stronger. So, what do you do? Um, well, Tony Stark, because he's Iron Man, realizes that this version of Galactus is from a different universe. And how do they defeat him? Um, <clears throat> they basically... Well, Mysterio from 616 is currently in this universe as well, so they talk to him. And they say, hey, Reed Richards defeats Galactus. Well, this version of Reed Richards is a dick. So um, he's the maker. So <laughs> how do you defeat um, him? So they begrudgingly go and talk to Reed Richards of this universe. And he says, however, I, yeah, let's go to 616 and find out what their version of Reed did to defeat Galactus. Um, Miles Morales and six, uh, well, the maker go through the universe to 616. And surprise, surprise, Fantastic Four are away doing something in the yeah, in space. So they're able to sneak in. Um, <coughs> Multiversal Reed is able to use his face to open up Reed's computer so they can find all the information. Um, in that doing so, Reed sees Valeria, his daughter from this timeline. Interesting because he will never have kids in his own as him and Sue have already broken up. Um, he's evil. However, this version of Reed has the family. It was quite shocking. Um, they get some knowledge, read all the files on Galactus and head back to their own timeline. So in their own timeline, uh, they basically decide the only way to defeat this version of 
Galactus is to push him into a negative zone. Uh, now the negative zone itself is only one throughout the universe if I'm correct so if you go into one you could pop out in any universe so it's a good place to knock him into um, yeah so the battle begins they get Kitty Pride and they <laughs> put her with Ant-Man pin particles uh, Kitty Pride becomes huge the idea is that she could phase through Galactus or get him in the right place um, but again it's more of just a distraction while uh, Reed builds a machine to transport him to the negative zone. Um, yeah, they basically get him there, turn the machine on, and with the help of Thor, Thor bashes him through the portal. Uh, he is stuck in the negative zone. And that's kind of the end of the story. There's no more Galactus um, in that universe. Uh, Thor's in there for a while. They don't seem too worried that Thor's disappeared, but yeah, um, Galactus is gone, and he finds his way back into the 616 universe as he would. And yeah, it was quite a cool story. Um, would love to see more of that. Um, obviously, the Ultimate Universe disappeared. Um, it's coming back at the moment, so I'll be interested to see what they do with it there. Do they make it more, yeah, Galactus or Galactus? But yeah. Let me know if you like the story. Um, let me know if you were actually a fan of Galactus over Galactus. Um, and then, yeah, um, we'll see you in the next videos.